time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, Monday, October 14th. S&P is up 50, NASDAQ up 180, Russell up 14, Dow up 216, gold down about a third of a percent, silver down over 1%, notes and bonds red, 10-year yield up almost 1%, oil down two and a quarter, natty gas down five and a quarter, soybeans uh, red, corn red, wheat red, euro in the pound a little bit red, Bitcoin up four and a half percent. VIX is down about 2.5%, just under 20, sitting at 19.91. Got a uh, hit on all my 5860 call tranches, like I was kind of waiting for it to happen. I was considering closing some. Dan B did the right thing and closed some. I did the wrong thing and followed the back test. <laughs> uh, but that, so down a little bit on my big tranches. Uh, had a couple of tranches of price action BIX, book profits on one, got double stopped on the other, so a little bit red there. I uh, put on a one, two, one, three, two, four, two, three, three, four double calendar. All of those are currently green. Took off a three, five, three, six, three, seven. Took off my 3.5 for a little bit of profit. Held my uh, 3.6 and 3.7. They ended up going a little bit red. Still have on a 4.7.5.7.6.7 from Friday. All of those are green. 4.7 is barely, barely green. My 5.7 is up about 12%. 6.7 is up about 15%. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, I did a... Uh, I did a couple small tranches of one DTE trades, closed one for small profit, closed one for a small loss. So that was about a scratch. I was planning on or was considering transforming and I just decided to close them. Just been a paint dry Columbus day today. Chad, how's your day? Looks like you're on mute, Chad. Yeah, started off pretty good with a day, a day trading. Had uh, a couple winners, a couple nice winners, one loser, but uh, came out profitable. Um, and then I went a little smaller today just because premiums were so small. So I uh, did book 20, 40, 60 and out on my AM1, my AM2, 20. 20% and then it got stopped on the push up. I'm in a power hour trade that's been testing my my uh it's been outside my short strike, which is the 5860. If they can hang on here, get a little bit of down movement, be profitable on that one. Um, and then I'm in um oh what was what was the Wooga? The 50, uh, 60 65 Wooga. So that's that's where I'm at so far today. Yeah, I forgot. I'm in uh, my couple of Wugas here. This one on my screen is on the 5560s. Price is currently in the upper part of that range. And then I did, that was my early one. And then my NDX one that I did about 10 minutes ago, it is centered. So I'm just going to be riding my Wugas into power hour. Did not do any day trading this morning. Looks like the Chinese stocks are getting hit. PDD down 5.75, Baidu down four plus, Baba down two plus. Netflix is down about a percent and a half, Roku down about the same, Boeing down one and a quarter, 
Amazon a little bit red. On the green side, UPST is up 17. DJT is up 17. Coinbase up 10 and a half. Piton up eight. NVIDIA up almost three. NVIDIA closing in on all-time highs. All-time highs is 140.76, currently at 138 and change. We've got uh, tech earnings coming up here in the next couple of weeks. On the economic news front, uh, today, obviously a bank holiday market, stock markets open, but bonds and banks are closed tomorrow. Empire State Manufacturing pre-market labeled as medium impact. We've got two uh, Fed speakers, Daly and Kugler tomorrow, late morning at noon. Wednesday, nothing. Thursday, retail sales and unemployment claims pre-market. A couple of uh, Fed speakers, I guess just one. Ghouls be at 10 a.m. And then Friday... Waller speaks at 11.10 a.m. That's about it. So pretty quiet week on the economic news front. Yeah, premiums are definitely low because of the uh, bank holiday for sure. I mean, that, that's certainly a part of it. But for VIX at 20... They're extremely low. SPX new all-time high today of 58.65 so far, just hit 10 minutes ago. NDX has not been able to quite get back up to all-time highs yet, which is 20,690. It's currently at 20,450. Yeah, these days when the bond markets are closed and like a bank holiday, but the st stock market's still open, they're just, I mean, they're not typically great days to trade. Either you'll get what we have today, which is just an absolute paint dry fest, or you'll get little spikes because the volume's so low. Several times I considered shutting down my BIX and then just decided to let them go. I mean, you're basically, you're already at a straddle here. You're getting in a new trade now. Um, let's see. So the 60, let me see what the butterflies are trading at. 60 butterflies trading for about a buck 25. Could be a struggle for market to move five points for Mr. Mahomes, but I'll still be trading it. Never know. Did a couple of test um, put put calendars. One on the fifty eight. Uh, these are three four DTE. One is on a uh, fifty eight thirty five strike that I put on this morning near the open. It's up a little bit. I added another one at the fifty eight sixty strike, and that one's up a little bit. So I'll just I'll, I'll just close those by the end of the day.
VIX has been on a little bit of a grind higher for the last almost hour. Yeah, I noticed that. That might be a good sign for Mahomes. Could be, could be. So down moves helping my power hour trade. My six seven got close to twenty percent. I had an order in; it never did fill to close half. Still up about fifteen or sixteen percent. Could hit by the end of the day if we get a little. This uh, little VIX increase is kind of helping. Like to hit twenty percent on this power hour trade before this decides it wants to rip back up. Wugas would take a fifty eight sixty close. It's been loving that fifty eight sixty number. What else is going on with you all? Anything exciting? I got to get to Stone's game at 4 o'clock today. Yeah, we're playing Bi at Truman High School. Okay. We're playing at Bishop Miege. He'll play a couple quarters of freshmen and then the rest. Um, then a few quarters of JV. Oh, and he got his first varsity action Friday night. Nice. And first series, two pancakes. <laughs> and uh, the team we were playing, the, the guy that he was playing center. And so Stone was, Stone was playing center. Senior defensive lineman for St. Joe just completely pancaked him. <laughs> I was like, I wonder if that guy knows he just got pancaked by a freshman. Nice. Well, if we pin between 60 and 65 without a big move in between, I could still be profitable on my BIX. You have one Fed speaker that started speaking right now. Coop, uh, oh, no, never mind. Waller? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's correct. Two o'clock our time. So, uh, yeah, Waller. Waller. Yeah. Due to speak about the economic outlook at Stanford. Starting three minutes ago, four minutes ago. Royals out of the playoffs. Chiefs are on a bye this week. Just uh, not a not a lot going on for our KC sports scene this weekend. Yeah, Stone and I went and watched um, some of his old was well, Neko Neko Raiders play a few games, sixth and seventh, eighth grade. Uh, Nebraska was on a bye too. 
I went to Cabela's and got all loaded up on some new arrows for hunting season and tips. Nice. nice. Yeah, I got asked to go tonight actually um, with one of the Mathis, one of my Mathis uh, buddies, Jared, and uh, he's well, heading out tonight. That, it? Well, it's the cold front coming in. It's supposed yeah. to be down to thirties. Yeah, but I got Stones games. We are about full go with that. Yeah, I love fall. For me, it's hunting, football, cooler weather. And right in this area would work well for both my Wugas. Football takes on a whole new meaning for me, too, now that I've got my youngest in high school playing it. I'll show you the quick, quick. I happen to be recording it too. Quick little seven second video. He's playing center number 79. Smash. That's Jake Nichols, number one. He was into freshman. So, Tony, looks like you got your first, uh, say your post, looks like you got your first TLC action today. Sure, if Tony's on here, he just posted in the in my channel there not too long ago. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's on the live stream or not. Should be. Let's see, Mauro, are you on here? Did you do? Did you end up doing a four or five on Friday? I've skipped it the last couple. I'm. Considering it, it's done really well, but considering uh, taking it out just to add more allocation to my other ones, but oh, you skipped it too. Dark Avenger, you traded it. You closed it earlier for a profit or loss. Small profit. Gotcha. Yeah, my... Uh, you know, I have my three five, three six, three seven all holding till twelve thirty. I ended up closing my three five out for a small profit just to reduce a little bit of exposure. My uh three six and three seven were, were both profitable at the open, but they just kind of with the volatility bleeding lower, they just kind of bled out. So I ended up taking a loss on both of those. Vic started the day at 20.5. Basically got down to lows by the time I closed those, down to 19.81. Uh, Maestro, I don't really have a minimum premium on that NDX. It's a little bit wider. And so... I want at least a one-to-one, -one, you know, like my max risk. 
on my two lots is 1960. My max profit is a little over 2000. So I want at least a one to one uh, risk reward ratio is just the only thing I'm kind of looking at on that one. And the only reason I'm doing NDX is just because I had strike conflicts on SPX. The only time I'll close a one, two or one, three Kelvin is on the same day as if I'm, if I'm up at least 10%. Then I'll close it or some of it. Otherwise, it's it's the next morning. I uh oh I quoted something wrong. I. I'm not, I'm not in a power hour trade. I'm actually in a lunchtime number one for my TLC. Got in about one o'clock central. Feels like a power hour because it's hasn't hit 20%. It's been over an hour. Yeah, I'll close that. Uh, I'll close those out around the open, Kelvin. Sixty sixty five Wugas looking really good. Oh, you got sixty five as your upper one. Okay, yeah, you are looking good. I got fifty five sixties. Ah, gotcha. See, I got in at one twenty three. It's a little bit, a little bit later than you, not by much, but yeah, you got a little bounce right there. And then my other account, I also did the 6065s. My small account and my tasty works is back. You know, I just started that what a few weeks ago. It is back in the green after I think four losing Wugas. Got back in the green just today on this Wuga. Yeah, we'll get, 
we came back for us on Friday. Were you in that? I yep. had two pins yep. on Friday. Yeah. yeah, that was the big, I let it go to expiration and that really helped me get yep. a lot of my a couple losses, two or three losses there back. Two pins as well. Yeah, Dark Avenger, my 4.7 and my 5.7. I'm on the 58.50 and the 5865. Price is hanging out. Obviously, kind of between those strikes. But yeah, I'm just I'm just holding. If you're concerned about a big gap up tomorrow, then yeah, you could see some losses, but I'm gonna hold mine. Uh, the two four. I I did I already traded a two four. Today. Yeah, the the one four is the one that I skipped. My two fours currently up a couple percent. I've got about 43 minutes to go. Let's see where these butterflies are trading at. We're right in between strikes, so not even at a strike. And it looks like they'll see in prices at a buck fifty, buck fifty-five. I'm about 60 cents still away from 20% on this lunchtime trade. I could use a little more down move. I don't know. Kind of looks like it wants to rip. Two point down move would probably give me twenty percent and forty percent. Yeah, these little these little grindy days, man, it doesn't take much. Right. Yeah, one will get thirty six percent and the other one at thirty one percent. If we get a little bit more grind higher in the VIX, my I'm hoping to shed some of my six seven, possibly even five seven. It's at fifteen percent.
My OG Wuga, my NDX Wuga is dead centered. My early one needs a little, little bit of a down move. Yeah, I could use a little down move on my. Again, my lunchtime, it's just can't get to twenty percent. Any little up movement hurts it. If anybody's new here today, obviously we got a lot of downtime, especially today with the market just not doing anything. So any questions you have, now is a good time. Uh, Hondo, I either just book profits or I will transform them to remove the risk and then give myself a shot in either direction is what I like to do. Or if I wait quite a while, then I'll transform it into a double vertical. So I have a shot in both directions, but more often than not, I choose one direction and I I'll remove the risk. And then sometimes I'll book profits on some of it. I'll transform some of it. Sometimes like today, I was just like, it just, I just didn't want to keep waiting. I was, I could have, I could have transformed it into a risk-free downside vertical, but I was kind of waiting to see if I could get it enough to transform it into an upside vertical. And it just wasn't going to get there unless we had a nice pullback. And so I just closed it out. Uh, Chessmaster VRRs uh, depends on what you're trying to transform it into. You can usually transform it into a risk-free butterfly, risk-free condor pretty quickly. Uh, you've got to wait a little bit longer if you're transforming it into a risk-free vertical spread. And then sometimes I'll put on VRRs just to just simply as a directional play to book profits. They work well for that as well. Uh, my last VXX is up nicely. So here's the one I did for the in the November cycle. And it's up and it's up a few hundred bucks out of a potential fourteen hundred plus.
But remember, that's, I mean, that's 32 days out too. You know, I'll do, I'll do VRRs in either direction on zero day options in SPX, one DTE in SPX. And those happen quick. I don't, I don't transform VRRs in VXX. Those are purely a volatility contraction play. And volatility spikes, enter those and look for volatility to contract to benefit. I won't, I won't even consider transforming that. And I just started doing those on VXX. I was really just doing verticals previously. Then of course you get a lot more risk if you know volatility spikes against you. With with the VRRs, you have this whole big flat area all the way to expiration. So you'd have to have a pretty significant spike for it to hurt you as long as you hold it. Yeah, I would not. I mean, the reason I I like to transform the uh, SPX or NDX trades. It's because you can let them cash settle. And if you're doing zero day or one DTE transformers, it, you know, you, you, you get those hits pretty quick. VXX, I would not, I would not transform that. I need a red bar. Red bars would be good. Just yep. one. Need a red bar. These butterflies are getting up to a buck sixty, buck seventy. We're not even at a strike. I guess we're getting close to sixty-five now. Got about thirty minutes until the bell. I guess I will uh, go ahead and start 
working my flies. I don't think it's going to hit anytime too soon, but it's close enough. They can keep just coming down a little bit more. I'm getting closer and closer to 20%. It's got to stay down, though. Still 70 cents away. All right, so I'm working the 60s and 65s. Yeah, it just couldn't stay down. Can't keep a good SPX down, Chad. It's once another all time high, I think. Wooga's at Now the sixty. <laughs> Three point move. That's that's asking a lot right now. <laughs> no doubt, right? Holy moly. We have been in a two point range. I guess five point range. Back up it goes. New all time high, fifty eight sixty six. Yeah, I knew it wanted it. That's a three point move in the wrong direction.
Got a 70 fly just in case. Little green bars. I tell you. Give me nightmares. Still sitting at 65. My 65 flies trading for about a buck 85 with a little over 20 minutes to go. I'm still two dollars from being stopped, so I'm not like close to really even close to being stopped, but I'm on. Also, not close to profit target. Back below 65. At least it didn't explode through all time highs yet. Yeah, yet. <laughs> I got to decide whether to take my Woog off at 50% if it hits it or leave it. My, Luga, my early wig is just outside break even. Yeah, mine's my it's above 65. It's past my short strike. My NDX is still in good shape. I would be more comfortable if it was below 65. Well, back up. Yeah, it doesn't. Doesn't look like that's what it wants to do. Now my Wooga's at 9%. It was at 40. All time highs again. 40 minutes of pretty much straight up. And stopped on my power hour trade. I'm sorry, lunchtime number one. So that Ticked will be a above. Full, full stop. Ticked above 68. Oh, I can complain there, Allie. I am now red in my Wooga. Definitely red on TLC now. So rough day. 
at about seven minutes till MOC. Right between the 65 and 70 strike. Early Luga needs below sixty four fifty to break even. My NDX is still in range. Murph Dog, I'm in the 5560s. I think he's in the 60, 65s. I think he's one strike higher than me. Yep, 6560s. My uh, full stop on my lunchtime number one, though, put me red for the day because I actually did 10. I did 10 contracts, and when I did six, this morning, I accidentally forgot to downsize my lunchtime number one, just out of habit. Otherwise, that would have been a smaller loss. Hovering at 65, my 65 fly. Let's get close to a buck 90-ish. Four minutes till MOC. Yeah, here's my Ewuga. I did this one with a bot as well. Right at 120. I'm on the 5560s. Got filled at $4.55. Come on, let's get a fill before MOC. What do you think, Mahomes? We hover around 65 for another couple minutes. right between strikes.
Meech in the house. What's going on, Meech? I'm good. How are you, sir? New all-time high. New freshy. Now I'm getting close on the 70s. Above 69. Can we get a fill? MOC in a little over a minute. Get a fill and then a big, nice cell number would be great. Meet, are you trading calendars? Calendars have been on fire. Above 70. Yeah, I spoke too soon about being in the red or being in the green in my smaller account. I'm now in the red. All right, looks like no fill before MOC. Market on close should be getting announced here any second. Not getting the voice announcement. We're back down to 66. Well, I don't know if they're not doing MOC because it's a bank holiday or what? Back down to 65. I like 65. Blow that. It's good. Sixty-five fly looks like it should be filling. Yeah, no MOC report today. Hovering near 65, it's not quite filling. Mm -hmm.
Come on, hit it. Hit me. I canceled my 60s. I guess I need to put those back on. What did you drop, MRP? All right, starting to fill the 65s. Filled on the 65s. All right, let's come on down. Come on down to the 50s. How about a 59 print? Push below 60 would be beautiful. Above sixty five. Four minutes to go. Hit profit target on one of my Woogas, and the other one I'm going to let expire, I believe. Need a move away from 65. Three minutes.
Two minute warning. Close below 62 would be profitable for Mahomes. A little bit of a wild ride on the Wooga today. 60 pin would be the best of all worlds. Sixty one. One minute. Don't need a bounce here. I think a sixty one pin. Yeah. Verticals. Stay. Oh, stay never above. mind. That was a calendar. Stay above sixty. Stay above sixty. Thirty seconds. Stay above sixty for the pin. No, no bounce. No bounce. Just sixty on the nose. Make everybody happy. Oh, my verticals. Verticals locked. So Mahomes will be a winner. Wugas are going to be a winner. Yeah, baby. 60.2. So my early Wuga is going to be almost a pin. My NDX Wuga is going to be almost a pin. And Mahomes is going to be a little over $2,000 winner. It looks like I got some nice vertical fills. $4, $4 $4.10, $4.15, $4.20. Nice. Good way to end the day after a paint dry session most of the day. My Bix are going to be a small loser down 351, which after a double stop, I'll take it. All right, all. That is a wrap. Tomorrow's live stream in the morning. Tomorrow is the 15th. So Chad will be streaming live in the morning. Banks are open. Hopefully we get a little something, something going on. Everybody have a good night. Take care. Talk to you soon.